What's going on everybody? Jeans here, back again playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We're bringing you guys another ranked double video. Obviously, you guys are like you guys already know what's going on today. But today we are using a Wo Chen and Chen Pal team that also features Life Orb Don Doza with its best friend Tatsugiri. We got old reliable on the team Arcanine, and then we also have a heavy hitter, Choice Specs Golden Go. This one should be fun. Hopefully, grab ourselves a couple wins for today's video. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before I started recording today, I was just thinking in my head, when is the next series going to come out? I cannot wait for the new rule set to come out. And I'm going to hope that they add like the, uh, what is it? The Raid Den Pokemon that they've been adding, like the Typhlosion, the Charizard, the Inteleon, like all those Pokemon will be so cool to use on the rank ladder. But we obviously have DLC coming out very, very soon, probably within the next, I wouldn't say next couple of months. I mean, this, there's already a release date for it. I just forget it, but that's going to be a lot of fun when they all come out there and we get a bunch of new Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. But enough of that. Let's hop into today's team preview. We got Golden Go over here. Golden Go is going to be our first Pokemon with good as gold and its choice specs as item. It's got Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and it also has Trick so we can hand off the choice spec onto an opposing Pokemon. Dantos is going to be our second guy. It's got Oblivious alongside with that Life Orb, Wave Crash, Earthquake, Terra Blast, which switches to, to Fire. And then Rock Slide for its final move. Really liking this move set for a Life Orb Don Dozo. Wo Chen is going to be in, in in our third slot, and Wo Chen is just so solid, especially up against physical attackers. It can really stall them out and just win matches in the late game. It has Tablets of Ruin, the Salt Vest as item, Giga Drain, Dark Pulse, Terra Blast, and Ruin Nation. We got Shen Pao as our fourth Pokemon. Shen Pao just top tier within Series Three. It's got Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash as item, rocking Ice Spinner for stab and taking out terrain, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, also rocking Sacred Sword for coverage, and then it's got Haze to take off all stat changes on the field. We got Arcanine in our fifth slot, and Arcanine, again, like I call it, old reliable. Always solid on any team you use it on. It's got Intimidate alongside with the Safety Goggles, Flare Blitz, E Speed to pair up with that Shen Pal's Swords of Ruin, and then we got Will O Wisp and Protect. Tatsugiri is going to be our final Pokemon, best friends with Don Doza with the Commander ability and the Choice Scarf as his item, rocking Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, Icy Wind, and Dragon Pulse. Guys, if you want to rent the seat for yourself, Rent's code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Wo Chen and Shen Pao Series 3 team. First match on its way, we're going up against such a cool team, a Slitherwing and Lucario team with Cerule Edge, Ndidi, Twerkle, and Amoonga. So if anyone's going to pop the trick room, it is going to be in DD. So I kind of want to bring in a Pokemon to take it out. But I was going to say Shen Pao, but I don't have Throat Chop on him. I do have you. I do have you with Dark Pulse. And I kind of really like that. So you know what? I'm going to lead the Wo Chen. They have a lot of physical attackers as well. So Wo Chen is going to be my buddy. I'm going to go Wo Chen. I could go Don Dozo for the lead, but I don't know if I like that too much. I could go you. Choice into like a Make It Rain, which could be pretty solid for us. So I might be down for that. I might be down for that. Mm. What do I want to do here? I, I really like Wo Chen. They have a few physical attackers. I mean, first impression Slitherwing is there. Um, hmm. Where do I lead a Pokemon like you and try to get rid of the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead both of these guys. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not because they don't pair They don't pair well together. I'm going to bring Shen Pao in the back end. But I feel as maybe Don Dozo or maybe even like Tatsugiri with the choice Scarf could be a solid lead. And then we go Life Orb Don Dozo and Shen Pao. I like that. I actually really like leading the Tatsugiri. I should have led Don Dozo. That's my bad, but I like the Tatsugiri. I feel like with the Choice Scarf, I could drop a nice big Draco Meteor. Get off some big damage on an opposing Pokemon. It kind of roll out from there. But yeah, usually uh, you would want to lead the Don Dozo. But I'm using the Tatsugiri if we're attacking right now. The reason you want to lead Don Dozo is because you can attack and then swap the other slot for Tatsugiri. So we can get the boost and then still be attacking. But again, I really like this. He's going to end up going into these two, and I feel like we just Dark Pulse, and do we attack the Lucario? I feel like we have to get rid of this Ndidi. So I'm going to Dark Pulse this slot down, and I kind of just want Draco Meteor, but I might just Muddy Water this, the, these Pokemon. Or I could choice the Dragon Pulse. I think Dragon Pulse is going to be a safe bet here. So I'm going to choice to a nice lovely Dragon Pulse. We'll get after it, and we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. And a follow me comes out here. Okay, that's cool. What are you doing with Lucario? You like bulking up or something? I thought maybe you'd just be going trick him with the DD. So I end up just dealing some nice damage to that thing. And then the Stark Pulse should do a nice chunk. And you go for the Swords Dance. Definitely a little scary. We definitely don't like that. Hopefully the Stark Pulse can maybe pick up a KO. 
and it does. So from here, I can ruin Nation down to Lucario for half HP. Then maybe attack it again, because Tatsugiri's just chilling here. He does a nice chunk of damage. So let's see who they end up bringing out, because I might bring out Shin Pao. I don't know. I don't like to pair it up with the Wochan, but Slitherwing does come out here. First impression, Slitherwing. Hmm. Hmm. I like Wochan out on the field right now. I really do like Wochan out on the field. I could get Water Terror here, which is not bad, but I would rather save my Terror type. So I'm just going to go for a Ruination and half HP you. And I think I'm just going to swap you into Don Dozo. Have my Tatsugiri's choice reset. Um, and Don Dozo can really thrive. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Because then we can eventually swap out Wo Chen and then get out my boy. Maybe Thrasilize. And get the commander going. Okay. I like this. So we're going to swap for Tatsugiri into Don Dozo here. And they're gonna end up Tarasla. Who is that? Probably Lucario, right? He's plus two. Yeah, and he's gonna look to probably steal Terra and nope, normal Terra and just get off as much damage as he can. You see, he doesn't learn. E yeah, no, he does learn E speed. I'm pretty sure. This thing can do a lot. He has a lot of different moves. So he goes for the E speed, probably into the Don Dozo slot. And Don Dozo should. Oh, wow, it actually did a lot of damage. A bit too much damage. A bit too much damage. And first impression comes out here, and that KOs. Was that a crit? No, that just ripped into me. That just ripped into me. But I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I mean, we go into Tatsugiri here. We get that lovely defense boost. Um, hmm. And then I could just pop EQs if I want to. I mean, I should outspeed the Slitherwing. But a first time prior to move, we should be able to eat up. Good old Slitherwing out and about. So we get that commander pop. We do have Choice Scarf on our Tatsugiri. Which would be helpful. But th that normal terror is looking, looking terrifying, right? That normal terror is looking terrifying. There's no need to terrasalize. I think we just pop an EQ. Or I can just go wave crash and kind of just focus down onto Lucario. Which I think is more so my play. Is to just get rid of Lucario. Like, if Don Dozo goes down and we get rid of Lucario, I think that's a big dub for us. I think that's a big victory for the Don Dozo. So we're going to hope Lucario doesn't protect. I'm looking just to get rid of it. I think my other two Pokemon can really finish off this battle. We got the Shen Pao. We got the, uh... We have the, what's it called? The Tatsugiri. So E speed's gonna come out here. We should be able to circle plus two on defense now. We do. You should be able to outspeed Slitherwing. You do. Cool. So we're gonna take out the Lucario here. Yes. And we're gonna die to recoil. And then Slitherwing's gonna get a free shot on Tatsugiri, which we're gonna hope Tatsugiri survives. Because then at that point, I can Chewy Scarf and Draco Meteor and start ripping into some opponents. We'll see. But it kind of sucks that Don Dozo dies out like that. Because now Tatsugiri has to take a shot. So we'll see what Slytherin wants to go into. It's going to be a Leech Life. Okay. That actually did a lot of damage. <laughs> that actually did a lot of damage. But now we bring out Shen Pao. And now it's a 2v2 situation. They got Amoongus. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't mind Amoongus. They don't have Terra. I can Ice Spinner into that. I can Draco Meteor down the, uh, the Slytherin. I get down with that. So now I'm going to Draco Meteor. I mean, I should Terrastalize my... My what's it called? I should terrestrialize my Shen Pao, and the reason being, I don't want to get hit with that with that bug move, right? Bug moves can get super effective on the dark. I'm gonna do that. I am going to ice spinner down the Amoongus. If you go for a me, you go for a me. It's not not that big of a deal. But I can definitely see someone protecting here. The Shen Pao with the focus ash in the back end, we love it. We love it. We love this little guy. Plus, both my Pokemon should be faster than his, which is awesome. Which really good. No terror, don't have to worry about type changing. Let's see how this one plays out here. Draco Meteor's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing with that thing? Actually soaked really well. There goes my special attack. Ice Spinner should KO here with the defense drop on the field. Super effective stab. It does not. That really hurts, actually. That actually hurts. That really hurts. There's the Leech Life. Good terror type from us. That really hurts because... Are you sporing me? Like, what's going on here? Spore my Tatsu? Okay, he ends up spore my Tatsu. Do we read Amoongus Protect here? Potentially, right? Potentially an Amoongus Protect. Do I read it? Because he can protect and keep doing damage on me. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but if I don't, I gotta go after it. I'm gonna say he doesn't protect. 
he doesn't cool. So Tatsugiri's gonna be asleep here. We're gonna get rid of the Amoogus. This is coming down to it. We get rid of Amoogus. Can we eat up whatever Slow Doing has to offer? And we really need one more turn from Shen Pao. And he goes into the Flare Blitz. I don't think we're eating up a Flare Blitz. We do eat up. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. We do eat up a Flare Blitz. That is huge. Now we're choice to drink a meter. We are still minus two. And we're going to go straight into an Ice Spinner. I think Ice Spinner should be able to KO. Even though this thing's kind of bulky. It might be best it though. Tatsu wakes up. He's going to miss the meteor. Oh, if this thing lives on one HP, I'm going to be upset. Let's see. Ice Spinner comes out here for the win. For the win. Give it to me. It lived on one HP. Bro, it lived. I just said, if this thing lives on one HP. And it does. So now all we have to do is land a meteor. And I'm terrified because meteors, one, it's it's a one and one. It is 50% accurate right now. But since we missed the last one, it's kind of due, right? It is kind of due. Come on now. Yo, Tatsu, I need you here. I need you here, little buddy. Draco Meteor choice into it. My man, Tatsu Giri coming in clutch here, landing that Draco Meteor for the victory. What a huge start for today's video. Great battle. Tatsu Giri clutches up in match number one. We're hopping into our second match. Let's go back to back. What a first match to get this video started. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. But like I said, second match is on its way. We're going up against a Ting Lu and Palafin team. And I've seen this team plenty of times on the rank ladder. It is very strong. They also have the King Gambit, Fluttermane, who's amazing, uh, Intimidate, Arcanine, and last but not least, Amoogus. But how should we play this one? How should we go into it? We could go Don Dozo and maybe swap it in Tatsugiri. I don't think that's going to be too bad. I think our special attackers are not too good here, so I think Shen Pao and maybe Arcanine could come out here. Uh, they do have a few physical attackers, so Wo Chen would not really be too bad here, right? I kind of like Wo Chen. I kind of like Wo Chen. Do I leave Wo Chen? Does that go Wo Chen Golden go? I don't think that's too bad. And then bring maybe Arcanine and Shen Pao. It actually looks very good. What's your terror type? Is it grass? It's normal. That's, that's not bad with E-Speed. I can get down with that. I don't think I'm worried too much about the Palafin. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got Wo Chen out here. Love this Pokemon so much, especially with Ruination and Giga Drain. I do like it with Leech Seed the most because it's just awesome. Leech Seed is one of my, my favorite competitive moves, just setting up little saplings, taking away HP. I always love stall teams. I don't know why. Ever since I started playing competitive, I used like a Toxapex Salt team in like singles for Sword and Shield, and it ripped. And it absolutely ripped. But what's up with the music? Did we get... I have random music on. Did we really get like no music? Oh, nope. There it goes. Now we're jamming. Now we're jamming. I was going to say, that's awkward. No music at all. But what chance out here? Uh, they do have Flutter Meme. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I could just go Giga Drain here. I could go Ruination to half this thing's HP. Um... I'm thinking maybe just Trasalizing you with a straight steal. Maybe just pop and make it rain. Hmm. I think that's my play. Rastalizing you. I like it. I like the nice little terror here. He's going to end up withdrawing Flutter. I mean, I was going to read that too. Who are you going to go into? Who's your Pokemon? It's going to be Arcanine. Arky, Arky. I, mm, I can't terrestrialize. Oh, this sucks now. This is really rough for us. Make it rain's gonna do like three damage. Dang it, man. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to swap out our gold to go. Which I don't mind too much. I mean, we have Shen Pao. We have uh, Arcanine in the back end. I think Arcanine could be good. But the problem is, do we think that this thing's defiant? Possibly, right? I think it is gonna be defiant. We're talking about it's King Gambit. Maybe we don't wanna do that. We'll see. We're choice into this now. Make it rain pops. It still does a awesome amount of damage, which we love. And Ruination gonna pop here and chunk up some nice damage over onto you. Maybe do I do I swap into? Oh, he's gonna Swords Dance. I mean, mm, this is a little scary. Or can I come in here with a Flare Blitz? Uh, he could Flare Blitz me. Hmm. Make it rain might be able to KO again, which could be good. I'm just going to Dark Pulse and make it rain. Actually, I'm going to double down in the Gambit slot. The reason I want to double down into the Gambit slot is just in case the make it rain does a KO. I'm going to stay in here again with uh, Gold to go. Gambit ends up protecting. It's a smart little protect. It's a smart little protect. So he's going to get off a free Flare Blitz here. Should have doubled down to Arky. I don't know if I should swap into Intimidate Arcanine. I don't know. 
I really want to see a golden go for a back end. Wow, we definitely should double down on the Arky. That could have been huge. That could have been huge. He has a flare blitz in the golden go. I'll take that all day because, again, golden go is going to soak. That's a big time. And he died a recoil. Now I can still swap golden go. Have it in the back end. I mean, Fluttermane outspeeds it still, but having that Pokemon is going to be solid. Dark Pulse is going to get blocked from the protect. And yeah, I'm thinking of just swapping it. I think he might just sucker punch me. Fluttermane does come out of here. Flutter, Fluttermane. Um. Hmm. This is scary. I might just let it die out. I think swapping it, we're not going to get any value out of it. I do think swapping it, we get zero value out of the Pokemon. I think from here, we just go into a Dark Pulse. We try to get off as much damage as we can onto the Fluttermane. Actually, what's called would do more damage. Actually, this will do a little bit, a little bit less, but still we get HP recovery back, which is big. And then I guess we'll try to pop another Make It Rain. As much as I want to swap out Golden Go, I just not doing it. I'm just not doing it <laughs> because I feel like it's just a waste if we swap it out and let let our other Pokemon like, take free damage. But Terrasalize is into Straight Fairy. The good thing we did switch into our Giga Dream, and he might take out my Wochen in, in a shot. Sucker Punch gonna KO me here. I think he takes out Wu Chen no problem. I mean, we are vested, but still, the Terra Boost is just ridiculously strong. But it is a little scary. It is a tad bit scary. Let's see, Moonblast flies. Yeah, I think we died of that all day, even with the best. Yeah, goner. Goner. It's a crit, that's why. God dang it, man. God dang it. <laughs> this game, man. Do me dirty, do me dirty. But I don't think we're... This one's all that bad. I mean, we go into you, we go into you. I can e-speed the, uh... The Fluttermane, I can sucker punch... The, the, uh... The Gambit and finish him off. Actually, it might not finish the Gambit off. That's gonna be a little... A little hurting. Now, is that thing defined? Yeah, it's fine. He's gotta go. He's got to go. He's gotta go. So, I do have Sash, um... Again, e speed's gonna be our friend here. Where do we flare blitz this thing down? Because I don't know if Sucker Punch can KO. I mean, it is stab. Do we want to do it? I don't think it's gonna KO. I'm gonna hope it KOs. Let's let's make something happen. E speed's flying out here. Big time damage. We get a, we get our crit back. Sucker punch, can you KO? I knew it wasn't gonna KO. I knew it. it Hurt soul. Sucker punch comes out. It fails, so it makes that fail, which is even bigger. Now what are you going for? Moonblast into Shen Pao? Go into Shen Pao. Go into Shen Pao. That's fine. You go into you. We're able to soak that. Okay, okay. You thought I was protecting that? Just that just helped me out tremendously. Cause now I just E speed. And I sucker punch the gambit slot. So he ends up withdrawing Fluttermane. So he's going to save the Fluttermane. He might be Swords Dance again. I don't know. The Moogus comes out here. That might be a smart little play from him. Let's see. Gambit's just going to protect. That is a smart little play. But I can go into a uh, Ice Spinner to finish that Moogus off, which is big. So we do that. We end up going for a Sucker Punch. Um, hmm. I think we just protect you here. And we just go for an Ice Spinner into this slot. Or I can Sucker Punch again. But he is going to go for the Rage Powder. And I have Focus Ash on Shen Pal, so I can use that very, very wisely. These two Pokemon, awesome together. Arcanine and good old... Good old Shen Pao. So yeah, I think he goes for the Rage Powder here. I do... Don't I have Safety Goggles? I, yeah, I do have Safety Goggles. We could have just... East Speed taken out Gambit. That's what I should have done. I should have realized I had Safety Goggles. But I'm just going to protect the Arcanine. I do think he goes after Arcanine. He ends up going... Swapping the Amoongus, which is very odd. Very, very odd. And he goes in a front of me. That's odd. That is really odd. I'm trying to think of, like, why our opponent would do that. But he ends up going for a Sucker Punch into Arcanine. We block it, and we get a free KO onto... On the front of me. That's huge. That is huge. So now we're sitting here. I'm just going to Ice Spinner down the Amoongus slot. And, yeah. Now I remember that I have the uh, safety goggles, and I can just E-Speed and finish off. King Gambit. 
So the comeback with the two bros, yo. Arcanine and Shen Pao ripping it up. Loving these guys. Moongus comes out here. Um, I guess it maybe just wanted to regenerate. I think that's what it was, but let me make sure I have the safety goggles. I do. If you want to rage powder, it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna affect me. I'm just gonna ice spin it out in the slot. Beautiful. So our first turn priority moves are just screwing over this gambit, who wants to go for sucker punches so bad. It really does. E speed's gonna be able to KO it. That thing didn't get off a turn in like five turns. <laughs> and then Ice Spinners might finish off the Moongus. We weren't able to do it in the last one. And there's a Rage Powder. So that's we knew he was going for the Rage Powder. But E Speed actually just outsped the Rage Powder because of how much priority it has. Ice Spinner comes out there. Bang. Bringing it down to like 15 HP. And this thing's just going to sit your spray up. But it is all good. Shen Pao outspeeds. They have no Terrestrialization. We can go for a Flare Blitz now. We can go for an Ice Spinner. Our opponent's probably just going to cancel the battle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Battle was canceled. 2-0. Absolutely dominating with this team right now. Final match on its way. And we are just absolutely killing it. Already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We're 2-0. Let's try to grab ourselves that perfect record. But we're going up against a very strong team right here. With no Legend of Ruin Pokemon. But a bunch of good Paradox Pokemon. They have Great Tusk, Flutter Mane, Iron Bundle. And then they got Tyranitar for Weather Control. Who is strong on its own. And then the Rockin' Amoongus and Talonflame. So I think Talonflame is going to be possibly the lead right so i might just lead dondozo i think dondozo could be pretty good do i leave Wochen? chen mm, it's actually kind of tough belly bird's kind of annoying me right i think i'm gonna go into shen pao i think shen pao for the lead is pretty good for us and dondozo wouldn't be too bad here either so i'm gonna go dondozo i'm gonna go shen pao i'm gonna bring dondozo's best friend in the back end and then last but not least could we go into gold go i kind of like the choice spec to go especially for back end purposes i can get down with that I can get down with that, but 2-0, oh, let's do it. Let's finish off today's video, stay hot, all that good stuff. Looking for it, looking for it here. But yo, Umbreon in the card? I gotta change up my card, but I, I never change up my card. I could care less, but I always like looking at other people's cards, trainer cards. Really dope, some people got some really cool ones. But Talonflame and Flutter Flutter is gonna come out here. Um, Okay, I feel you. I mean, I can sucker punch that, uh, that Flutter Flutter if I want to. I could sucker punch the Flutter Flutter. Which I'm thinking of doing, and then just wave crashing down the slot. Or I rock slide. It's gonna be four times super effective. So I'm just gonna rock slide rather than wave crash, because I can get off some damage on the Flutter main. Sucker Punch comes out here, shipping up some damage. Tailwind's gonna pop here. And what are you going for, Flutter? Flutter, Flutter. You going for a Gleam Moon Blast into my Shen Pal? You're just gonna Gleam. Okay, that's fine. Actually, did a lot of damage to my, uh, to my Don Dozo. But uh, we'll see how this one plays. Rockside probably picks up double KO, correct? See you later. That's big time. That's big time. See you later, Fluttermane. See you later, Talonflame. Fluttermane, Talonflame. Alright. So now we're sitting here. I could swap the... I think I should swap the... What's it called? If I can get off one more turn with Don Dozo by swapping the Shen Pal, that could be... That could be nice. I'm surprised at how much that Fluttermane did. Great Tusk's gonna swap in here. Terrified of that thing and Iron B. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna sucker punch the Iron B and then wave crash the Tusk. I think that's my play. Or I could protect and way out to see what I don't have protect. Do I really want to swap into Tatsu? Not really, right? So Iron B just still outspeeds me. I could tear it into fire. But then if he goes for a ground move, it's just, uh, it's ugly. It's ugly. Because they're both going to be able to outspeed me, which is kind of tough. I have the Choice Scarf Tattoo, which might just be good on its own. You know, I'm going to go Sucker Punch this slot, and I'm going to go Wave Crash this slot. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to end up protecting the Tusk. If I get off a Sucker Punch on the B, that, that's, that's nice. Nice half damage, and are you going for an ice? You go for an icy wind. So you're just gonna slow down my boy. At this point, I could bring out Tattoo, but I don't like Tattoo. I, I think I like Tattoo on its own. Hmm. This battle's gonna be real close. Could go gold and go. I terrasize. Oh, dude, the EQ is just gonna be dirty, man. Ah, oh, the ground moves do me dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, hmm. I want Tattoo on its own right now. I really do.
I think our best bet is going to be terrestrializing our. Uh, probably protecting Dondos or wasting out the Tailwind turns. That might be your best bet. And then maybe terrestrializing him. I think we want to see what moves he's going to go into, right? Because we need this Tailwind to kind of end. We need to get some speed up in here. We need some speed. So let's see how many turns left in Tailwind. It is going to be two. And look at these beautiful stats. Um, so two more turns left to Tailwind. Protect is definitely a turn. We don't even have Protect. It really hurts. And oh my lord. This sucks, man. I think I just gotta wave crash you down because I gotta get rid of the Tusk. I have to get rid of the Tusk. So we opt to not to Rastalize. It's kind of tough. We probably should have. He was in the ice. Yeah, we definitely should have. Rastalize in the fire. Give us a shot at win this one because we're not winning this one after this. Tusk lands a double protect. That is wild. That's wild that you just went for that double protect. So our turn wouldn't have mattered anyway. That hurts his soul, man. Double protect, but he takes me out in one shot. Oh, this one's this one's ugly. But I still have two choice Pokemon. And oh my lord, this one's over with. We can't protect or anything. I would love to double protect you and waste out the talent, but I can't. I simply cannot. I simply cannot. And I guess I'll choose into. Mm, Muddy Water, probably your best bet. And if I can land this, make it rain, yeah. But again, they're outspeeding me. He's just gonna go for a, uh, not an EQ. What's that move called? Oh, he might be going for an EQ. But he sent me hard here. He sent me hard. There's the EQ. I'm dead. I'm dead. Both my Pokemon are goners here. Somehow, can you guys survive? Tatsu survives on one, but we're going after Iron Bundle, so it does nothing. Actually, no, we're choosing into a uh, Muddy Water, but it's over with. Unless, unless, hold up, unless we outspeed the Iron Bundle. Wait a minute, Tatsu might be able to catch up. Tailwind's gone, right? Tatsu has choice. If you can outspeed and pick up KO, Tatsu, you have a shot here. Hold up, wait a minute. Tatsu, you have a shot here. Let's make it happen. You outspeed? You don't. You just don't outspeed. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought Tatsu was going to clutch it up there. I really did. But if we would have just had like a nice lovely protect on Golden Go instead of being choice, we could have won that match. But hey, 2-1, I'll take that all day. A nice winning record for you guys. Absolutely love this team for master tier play. This team is phenomenal and it kind of covers a lot of different teams. You got the Shen Pao, you got the War Chen for the defensive drops and their attack drops. Really, really powerful in that instance. Then you got Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, Arcanine, and Golden Go that can do a lot of the makeup work and getting rid of Pokemon on the other team. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.